Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are doing a messy house clean and decorate. I'm going to be decorating at the end of this video for Christmas, so be sure to stay tuned for that. But we have to get this messy house all under control, get everything all cleaned up so that we can get ready to decorate. If you're new here, I'm Becca. I'm a single mom to three, and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join the family. I put out long cleaning videos every single week, jam packed with real life cleaning motivation. I always keep it real and honest over here. So if you like that type of content, I really hope you choose to stick around and we are hopping right into it, getting the table all cleaned up, getting everything all cleaned out so that we can go ahead and like I said, decorate. I'm so excited. I love Christmas time. It's my favorite time of year. I love decorating for it. So I'm always so eager to do it and get it done. I wanted to get it done probably like two weeks before this, but we were just too busy, but super excited to be getting it done today. Don't say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies. Yeah, promise I won't forget. Yeah. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let. Moving on to the kitchen and we're gonna get all the stuff out of the kids lunch boxes i have a really bad habit of overpacking their lunches i put a lot of snacks in their lunch every day just because i get so paranoid you'll have to let me know if you're like this too i just always worry that they're not gonna have enough food and they're gonna be hungry afterwards so i always try to make sure that i pack a lot for them because i rather them come home with food that they didn't eat than to be at lunch and still be hungry especially Grayson because he is such a picky eater. He will not eat school lunch. So I try to always make sure that they have enough in there. You know, and sometimes they're, I feel like some days they're hungrier than other days. And maybe that's because some days they're running around more, they're burning more energy. I don't know what it is, but either way, I just know, I always want to make sure that they have enough snacks and feel fulfilled at the end of lunch. Now we are going to tackle this big pile of dishes and get them in the dishwasher, probably run the dishwasher as well since I'm sure this will take up my entire dishwasher. Oh, 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 
this video is a little bit shorter than my usual videos. It's still pretty long, I know, but I usually do videos that are around 40 to 50 minutes if I can every week. But unfortunately, with Thanksgiving and all the chaos of the holiday and the kids being off from school, I was not able to jam in as much as I would have liked to. But with that being said, I am putting out a three hour cleaning marathon on Saturday. I know those aren't for everybody, but I know that a lot of people here do like them as well. It will be jam packed with a ton of cleaning motivation. My next video too as well will be a clean and declutter and organize with me. I have some closets that have been desperately needing me to go through them. So we are going to tackle them once and for all. So next week's video is going to be super long and super motivating. Since I'm running the dishwasher and I have some room, I wanted to go ahead and put the stuff from my coffee machine in there as well. I try to do that pretty frequently. Pretty much any time that I have extra room in my dishwasher when I'm about to run it, if it's got room for it, I will take it out and go ahead and wash it. You wanna make sure that you're washing those things, especially like the water tank and stuff, cause obviously water like, you know, it hardens and it like there's buildup and everything like that. So I try to put those in the dishwasher like minimum once a month to get them really cleaned off. I wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night Put you in that spotlight Oh, you make me feel fine Wanna look at you all night Put you in that spotlight Oh, you know Until my lungs give out your beautiful Till my lungs give out your beautiful So I had mentioned a few videos ago that I had ordered some more garbage disposal like cover things from Amazon. I got them in and they were too small. Unfortunately, I kind of just, when I was like doing my research and looking them up, it seemed like kind of one size fits all type of thing. And there were a few reviews that said it was like really hard to get in there. So I did try to like squeeze it in there. Did not work. It's too small. They were super inexpensive. So it's not a huge deal, but I am gonna, probably just go to like Lowe's or Home Depot and take the one I have with me to make sure it's the right size and buy a new one because 
the one that's in there now is driving me nuts. It's so gross. I cannot get it like cleaned enough and it's kind of like deteriorating as well. So I just need a new one. And I was so disappointed that the Amazon ones didn't work for me though, because they're like heavy duty and I just liked them, but it is what it is. Now we move on to the back hallway and I really don't even need to give an explanation because if you've been here for a while, you already know that this area is always just a mess anyways. I really needed to reorganize this area as well. So that was something that I wanted to work on too, uh, but just need to get some things cleaned up. I don't keep all of our shoes downstairs. I keep most of the boys shoes downstairs, but I don't keep all of my shoes downstairs. Obviously I would not really be able to do that. So I try to keep most of my shoes upstairs, except for the ones that I will wear on a daily basis, like a lot of like my slip on bands and stuff like that, my slip on sandals, cause I will wear those every single day, but just so it doesn't get too cluttered. This closet is out of control right now. This is one of the areas where I really just need to get in here, pull everything out and reorganize. I know that there's stuff in here too that's Chris's as well that I keep coming across. So I really need to get that stuff out of there and give it back to him. So this whole closet is just, Every few months I have to tackle this closet because it's always getting out of control. But I was trying to swap out the boys stuff. So a lot of their sandals I put inside the closet and then I'm just gonna put their shoes, like their sneakers and stuff that they'll choose to wear every day in this basket. Now it is the next day and we are going to get the Christmas decorating going. I've got Colby helping me bring everything downstairs as I like organize it in the spare room upstairs. I needed to pull everything out, get it organized, get it figured out. I had him bring it down. I actually told him to uh, bring down the tree. I told him that I would help him and he took it upon himself to just do it himself. He's such a good kid. He helps me out so much, uh, but I need to get everything down, get everything out and figure out how I wanted to do things. This Christmas tree is from Hobby Lobby and if I can link it, I 100% will link it down below. I will link anything that I can possibly link, I will link down below. However, a lot of my Christmas decor is like hand-me-downs or like Ross or TJ Maxx and it's harder to link those things. I did get this tree skirt bucket thing, whatever you wanna call it. I got it at Walmart a couple years ago. I'll see if they still have those available as well and try and link it down below. I love it, I think it's such a great, I just love it. I, it's so simplistic, so pretty, and I just love the idea of it. But this tree I bought three years ago. I think it was our first Christmas in this house that I bought it because this is a two-story entryway and I wanted a tall tree. I originally was like, I'm gonna get a 12-foot tall tree. <laughs> And I, I ended up not doing that because it would have been so much work. I think this is a seven foot tree. I wanna say it's seven feet. Uh, might be nine feet. It might be nine feet. 
You know what? I'm not even sure. I will link it down below if I can, if I can find it, because it is three years old. I don't know if it's still available, but look at just how easy it comes together. It literally comes together so easily. Like everything just falls right into place and it slides right into place easily. I, I love, I cannot praise this tree enough. And I love the details I love on this tree the most. When I was looking for a new Christmas tree, I knew for a fact that what I really wanted to focus on was the like light green, almost like pine tree kind of looking look. I just love that look. Um, but most of my Christmas ornaments are from Walmart or Target. And I literally, when I need to buy more, I go like the week of Christmas or the week before Christmas when it's all like 50 to 80% off and I will buy everything I need then. I have always done that. I will always do that because it's just the least, you know, expensive way to do it. All right, so as far as the rest of the other decorations, just like every other holiday, I like to pull everything out, see what I have, see what I'm working with, so I know where I want to put things. I never remember where I put things the year before. Sometimes I will look back at photos to see how things were, just to get an idea. Um, I don't always like to do it exactly the same every year either, to be honest. Some years I do more, some years I do less. This year I decided to go with a little bit less. I really, even with Halloween too, I really just wanted to do like pops of like the holiday uh, hanging out around the house. The entryway I usually always deck out for like Christmas and Halloween, but the rest of the house I was like, you know, a candle here and there, like a little tree here and there or something like that, but not anything too crazy. And of course I always change out like the floral for the holiday stuff, but I wanted to keep it a little bit more simple this year. you 
Honestly, decorating the entryway and decorating this little nook is always, those are my two favorite areas to decorate. So I do have quite a few things that I like to put up over in this area. And honestly, I'm loving that this wall is green right now too, because a lot of the stuff that I'm decorating with is red and the wall being green just plays right into Christmas, pops right off of each other. So I just love how that worked out. All right, friends, as always, here are some finished finishing shots. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the decorating. I love sharing. I love sharing that kind of stuff with you guys. I know it's kind of hit or miss sometimes, but I truly love sharing that type of content with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you're new, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. If you're giving me